And here's the last thing that we need to share together that's often implied in the creeds of the church, like the Nicene Creed and the Apostles' Creed, but it's not deliberately spoken when it comes to the persona of God the Father. And I think it should be spoken specifically of God the Father because God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are completely in concert. They are not contradictory. They are complementary in every way. And here's what needs to be said about God the Father that I don't believe is often said. And it's not said enough. And sometimes it's never said. God is a pursuer of you and me. God is a pursuing God. God is a pursuing God. Several years ago, a popular book came out called The God Chasers. And I I think it has its place. And I think overall, it's a fine text. It helps the people understand that part of our growth and our maturity as followers of Christ is to pursue God, to to chase after ministry and mission and fulfill the purpose that God's created us for. And I think as far as that goes, it's wonderful. But I think just that understanding of God chasers, that we have to chase God. I think we need to hit the pause button. And I think we have to remember the story that's in the Bible. And the powerful story that's in the Bible is that when God found us in our trespasses and sin, on our very worst day, God didn't annihilate us. God came looking for us. He's a pursuing God. The very first missionary in the Bible was God himself. That's powerful, folks. Evangelism, mission work, that isn't some idea that the church created. It's not some kind of hypothetical kind of, well, we ought to do good, you know, do good and love people. That's the very nature of God. When you and I participate in helping people find their way back to God, when we participate in going halfway across the world as we're going to do next month in Ghana, West Africa, to love and care for people and treat them medically, people we've never met in our entire lives, and baptize hopefully some uh, 75 to 200 people in the Christian faith, that's the very nature and heartbeat of God. And when you and I participate in that, we're living out the faith that God the Father lived out on the first moment that sin occurred into his creation, he came looking for Adam and Eve. God's a pursuing God. He's a pursuing God. And I think that's so important for us to realize that God's a missionary God. Transformation starts when you and I begin to see God and how he has revealed himself through human history. Adam and Eve, though, didn't receive that transformation. They didn't receive that pursuit very well at first. What did they do? Covered themselves up with what? Fig leaves. Hid. They first hid. And then they covered themselves up. Because of what? Two primary things. We're back to our plain truth, aren't we? Your authentic faith and your depth, the depth of your faith, the authenticity of your faith. You know what I mean by authenticity. Is it real? Is your faith real? Is my faith real? The authenticity of your faith, the depth of your faith, are largely informed by how you view yourself, how you view God. And in that moment, how did they view God? In that moment, how did they they view themselves? 